Hey Scott here. Hope you guys are doing good. Hey, I'm today. I'm working on a Husqvarna lawn tractor that the customer called me and they said it just made a noise and it quit moving. So I went up to her place and I picked it up. I brought it back down here and let me show you what I found. It's a really simple fix and it wasn't really anything damaged, but you know weird things happen. So check it out. So today we're looking at Husqvarna 22V46 YTH 22V46. And uh, the owner of it just said uh, it made a funny noise and it stopped moving. And I climbed underneath and I found that the belt actually came off of the pulley. And um, I put the belt back on the pulley and it's still making all kinds of racket. So let me fire it up and uh, and show you what's going on. Put a bag of uh, ice melt up there on the seat. We have that kind of stuff up here in the Northwoods. Just to, uh, you know, make the seat sensor think I'm sitting on it. So... Let's fire it up and I'll show you what's going on. All right, so I put the parking brake on. Got some weight on the seat. Let's turn the key. All right, right now it sounds fine, but let's disengage the blade. I mean, the brake. As I went to disengage or re-engage the parking brake, I noticed that I can't re-engage it. The lever here, it just came disconnected somehow, some way. So I'll have to open this up and find out what's going on. All right, so hopefully this will fix it, but I've never seen this before. So check it out. If you pull up on the on the parking lever, the parking brake lock here, it engages the blade, locks the blade, the, the brake in place. I keep saying blade, brake. And here's that lever. But look, check that out. Clearly, it popped out of place where it needed to be. And you can see the hole in the end of that rod there where a pin was. So, could this be such an easy fix that I can put it back in a hole and replace the pin? Well... We'll find out, because it's got to be done anyway. So, stand by. All right, looks like I can, there it goes, dropped in place. And now if I push on the brake pedal, and then I pull up on the lock, there we go. Now I need to just reach down there and put in a little cotter pin. All right, I know I said cotter pin, but what I have is this little hitch pin or hitch clip. And we just reach down here. Oops, sorry, let me try to get better camera view of that. Put the pin in place. Let's see if it works. Pop the camera up here again. Oh, when it clears, that's good. All right. That was an easy fix. Let's see if it does anything about the noise this thing is making. Alright, 
right, so that clip needed to be replaced, but we still have a lot of racket coming from underneath. So we're going to get underneath. We're going to inspect the belt, inspect the pulleys, and whatnot. All right, so now we're looking at the underside of the tractor here. You can see that I took the deck off. And when I first got this project, uh, the belt here, this is the drive belt, it had hopped off of this pulley and was up behind it. So I was able to work it back in into place here and I bent this keeper a little bit so it wouldn't hop out so easily. But as you just heard, um, even with that belt in place, it's still making all kinds of racket. So we're going to find out. We're going to have to go through, just move this belt little by little all the way around and look for any kind of nicks, damage. Just by feeling it, I can tell you, it, the edges feel nice and sharp, so it's not... Oh, what am I hitting here? It stopped moving that way, so... Oh, there it goes again. But just kind of keeping an eye on the belt. And when you're sure you're going all the way around, without feeling any or seeing any damage, then we have to probably rule out the belt as a problem. I'm watching the pulleys too. There's three pulleys right here. And they're, they're all turning freely. They don't have any nicks or gouges. Um, I'm going to feel the back of each one. That one's good, I think. Um, flip this one over. No gouges or damage on that one. This one. Same thing in there. If you wiggle them, they're, they're pretty tight. This whole bracket wiggles back and forth. So, maybe that's a problem. I'll have to dig into that and find out if that's the cause. But before I do that, I'm going to take a closer look down below at the belt where it connects to the transaxle. That's a metal, a metal pulley down there. that look at that there's a chunk of something in there oh, 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 oh that's our problem let's pull that out oh it's in there pretty good look at that it was just a chunk of get in the sunlight here a piece of wood from their yard got wedged in a pulley and the belt was banging on it and it was enough to cause it to jump off the pulley but well there you go now I'll put this thing back down on all fours and how much went to bed it doesn't make a sound now that's not supposed to all right the moment of truth here we got the Husqvarna back on the ground parking brake set Wait in the seat. Let's fire it up. Gonna release the parking brake. Ooh, nice and quiet. That's it. Just a little chunk of wood. Got wedged in the pulley. Alright, now I can get it back together and get it back to the owner. Thanks for watching.